I mean, before we even put the frame up, we had a step going up there because we started having parties up there. We had a nice <laughs> little sound speaker system and we had wild parties yeah, up yeah. there. I'm still amazed that nobody fell off before we put the railings in because <laughs> you know, our parties were lit. Was Hiked up about four hours until we were on the top. Well, I was like, okay, so I guess you're lost, right? We were like, where are they? Why aren't they coming Now, where? Back? Where? You have the machete, you go on there, so you start chop. Okay, we must book up on a farmland or something. If you have a farmland, you will find a road. I don't know where that came from. I mean, we gave him a nickname after that anyway. <laughs> we start calling him Blue Balls. in so you know welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mel and we are here with mommy so I already know what that means it's another story time with mommy and we also have Yosha here so today is going to be a story time with mommy and Yosha cuz them know what they are talking about I have no clue what they're talking about so <laughs> so you um, know he knows he soon figure out mm -hmm. but you know them are gonna take over. So. It's a surprise story time. Yes. Whatever she says, I go along with it. <laughs> Disclaimer. The stories that I'm going to tell in this series are my experience, my truth, and my point of view over the past 38 years that I have been in Jamaica. And it's in no way intended to slander any person, the culture of Jamaica, or the island as a whole. Hi Mel's lovelies, um, last time we stopped at, well not last time but the time before last time we had uh, Mayumi's meeting with her father for the first time. Um, oh actually uh, somebody asked me a question, if um, Ashley <coughs> and me ever got divorced, yes we did. What happened? Um, and I was like, after we were married for about 20 years or something, one year uh, he approached Mayumi and gave her some divorce papers for me. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And uh, he only got the divorce because he lied. Because he claimed that I had been in America. Because he, he got the divorce in America and uh, I was the one that left him and all kind of sitting. So, well, I never really cared because whatever, it was over since so long, so it didn't make a problem. <coughs> but that was uh, after a word for the last uh, mom story. So, you run my left finger in America. Uh -huh. And I had been in America, apparently. Uh -huh. I, me never go anywhere uh -huh. near where he used to live, you know. So ever in my life. You got a green card and never told me, huh? Most, huh? Oh my. I'm telling you. Okay. So basically I was saying, uh, 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 at one point in time I was just wondering if I could find that divorce, just for the spite of it. <coughs> and say, look here, that divorce can't be valid because it is um, uh, decreed on a lie. You probably so could have that. fought it, but <coughs> it would yeah, benefit you, you know, anyway. Uh, uh, so. Exactly. So, the time before we had been in Germany and my mommy died, and yep. we had the problem with the marina when we came back, and, and we had a lot of. Uh, well, when we came back, <coughs> something much. we actually saw the whole marina gone. Right. And it was all spread out in the yard on the yeah. parking lot. Yeah. The parking lot was. You know, a lumber like, yard. <laughs> yeah, like the hurricane came and just blew everything there. Yeah, and Nikki was there and, and, and he was helping. Because remember I told you that people from Peel, they offered they would take down everything for us so we wouldn't have to bother with it because the, uh, the road was practically built around us and we needed to go. So of course we took that off and, and then we went to Germany. Nikki was at home and now how, how did you construct the house? You started well, the house? We oh, I, I think we started it because we knew that they were tearing it down. We started it just before we left. 
one so one little house kind of the us. foundation of it and uh, set up like the four columns and stuff like that um and the framing but then we had to leave so it was up to nikki to finish that up and he did i mean so basically nikki all by himself in how long were we in germany not that long i'm not even sure how long three that weeks was about, right? probably in probably those three like weeks that. nikki uh, accomplished to build he an entire finished, little build up like one of the room mm -hmm. it was gonna be like a two-room house it was pretty big though yeah i mean i, I would know. say it was like um about 10 by or maybe maybe even more 12 by how long was it like 50 roughly feet so about 12 yeah, by 50 pretty feet big. and i mean wood flooring you know so they they, they built some the underneath yeah we did the whole on framing the on the on the bottom <laughs> for the wood uh -huh. um yeah. we did well we ended up building the walls with the plywood that we had from the marina partially that they took apart uh, we used the zincs from, from the marina from the roof, exactly. made that roof the windows that we had windows uh, that we had we built them in from, from the, the houseboat. houseboat the windows from the yep, sunken houseboat those. hi <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah, so Nikki practically had half of the thing done by the time we got back. So yeah. he had his room situated and stuff like that. The only room that was left to be built was mom's room. Yep. Uh, because I already room. had my room outside yeah. built like, before, yeah, okay. three, four years before. So the I was one off the room marina, was right? basically then for the other children, Nikki, Mayumi and Melody. And I would get a little uh, uh, place for myself. Yeah, and that's when you wanted your your kind of like a bunk bed it's a oh, higher yeah. bed i got a fantastic um, bed so what we did we, we built it completely out with shelves around it we utilized under the bed for storage she got wardrobe. a step yeah she yeah, used it, it as a wardrobe, wardrobe. we kind of built that into I the bed i even had a space behind the wardrobe where i could put like suitcases or, or hide things or hide or yes hide. exactly i had my steps going up on the front side of the bed there were some shelves for my books i mean it was really cozy in there yeah, too yeah so. that room was i had some some uh photos one time but i i don't know where Can't they are them. but uh, well actually i got a cd from uh, Tilo's parents. Okay. Uh, anyhow, that room was I I loved it. I loved it. It was, I mean, just for a a, a quickly built, you can almost say makeshift thing. It was fantastic. I mean, it was very cozy. Well, it was sturdy. That was never gonna move anyway. Yeah, that was so. really built perfectly. So you see, my sons, they have so many skills and learned so many things over the years in Jamaica. Also, so, when I came back, I had to set up the electrical and stuff in the house because I had to do, do the wiring and right. get the light in there. Yeah. So the our plugs, bathroom was stuff. the old bathroom from the marina with the two shower with yeah, toilet. Yeah, we had all that so there already that. anyway. We built a little kitchen on the one bathroom wall. So we could uh, cook yeah we kind of built out like a a, a top with a, mm -hmm. with some of the zincs as well it was exactly. kind of an open kitchen like an outdoor open. kitchen mm -hmm. and we had the tables like outdoors built out like a little patio system mm -hmm. it was actually kind of cozy and nice yeah, the way it was built but then still the question remained what would we do business how wise. would we survive because i mean they took away our income the restaurant was no more the marina was no more uh, although we had a place to live still and we built our own place uh, what would we be living off yeah there's no income at that point in time of course we still had a little money from from the government when they took away our marina but huh, what to do so we looked around and we got the idea basically to above the kitchen bathroom part which was we already had columns there yeah exactly. because we were planning on doing something up there like from before One point in time. plus the, the 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 bathroom building itself could be a foundation for a floor as well so we decided to put up a restaurant up top which could then have a wonderful view across a newly built road 
-hmm. again to see the entire harbor and Navy Island and and uh, I mean it was a nice spot to do something like that so I don't even know when we started I think that was I think we started March. like maybe six March? months after we got back or something that late? Or no, no, no probably really like three months had... after we got yeah. back March yeah I would say March yeah. and the fantastic thing was some friends from Germany they heard about our situation we knew them at least two of them we knew uh, since quite a while since quite a few mm -hmm. years and uh, one of them actually was uh, uh, Lulo's father mm -hmm. and uh, so we had that connection from that time and the other guy was his how you call him Schwager? Was Lulo's uncle Lulu's uncle, right? Uh, the brother of her mother. And they they had a little time on their hand and, and they, they spontaneously decided to come over. We and are help. come over and we are going to help you to build. They brought some tools as well. Yeah. You know. And they brought two more persons with them. Mm -hmm. So I mean suddenly we had four more male hands mm -hmm. going and, and Lulu. And, and Lulu and she then he, the two of them. And what they did, they basically had like a building, uh, working holiday because of course they, they it was would fun. work. It was oh, yeah. work <laughs> fun. It wasn't really work. It was mostly we fun. We had a lot of fun. I mean, every evening I would cook for everybody and we would have this big, big, big table. Other people used to mm -hmm. join us and, mm -hmm. and we just yeah, had Yeah, we used to have our meal. friends that came over yeah. and it was... I mean, we were like 20 people there yeah, most of the time. every evening. I mean, the, that table was run yep, back. Yep. You know, and then in the day, people would pa come by as well and help out. And what can we do? How, how can mm -hmm, we help mm -hmm. you guys? So basically, this building uh, started to take uh, space pretty fast. I mean, they had some old train lines too. We used those as foundation to run it across the top. Mm. And you know the train line is made out of like, right. Yeah, it's... Steel, steel or steel yeah, or so whatever, it's yeah. it's hard. That that thing hardly ever bends or anything. So we use that as part of the foundation on the top, and um, yeah, we started decking it, building our walls, building our frame. I mean, before we ever put the frame up, we had a step going up there because we started having parties up there. We had a nice little <laughs> sort of sound speaker system, and we had wild parties yeah, up yeah, there, yeah. like nightly. A lot of fun, yeah. Nightly. I, I, I so, still, I mean, I'm still amazed that nobody fell off before we put the railings <laughs> in because our parties were well, late. Was wide, Trust me. The place was pretty big. So and yeah. they, and they built a, a bar, you know, a, a, a bar part, and then we started to even have some drinks up there, you mm -hmm. know, and just store them. I mean, it was nice because the, the the palm tree grew right into the building too yeah. because we made sure to integrate like the bushes there yeah, around the yeah, trees yeah. so they were like coming into the building. It looked really nice. And then with that view, I mean, mm -hmm. you, oh my god, that view was fabulous basically. So we really uh, did a lot of work there. And, and then uh, even uh, the parents of, of uh, Lulu's uncle came to visit, right? Yeah, and he then was there too. <laughs> they, they spent there. some time and they had a lot of fun too. And basically, you guys went hiking, right? We went hiking once. Um, yeah, practically where we were um, today in, in Moortown yeah. when we went there to visit yeah, yeah. today. Um, we went to Nanny Falls, but we passed. And it was early in the morning. I think we left like about 7 o'clock, went to Moortown. Um, had this guy with us, he said, yeah, he knows how to bring us over the mountains, you know, Junker Mountain and come back down Long Bay. Long Bay is a pretty far distance mean, away. I mean, that's bush. That's bush. No that's houses, Junker no Mountain. Roads, I mean, we're going up no the nothing. mountains. Um, anyway, we were going up quite fine. They had like some pathways beside the river going up. Um, so we took that. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's going to be easy. So we went up, we went up. Um, we probably hiked up about four hours until we were on the top because it, it's pretty far up so by time mm, not for you by time we were up there it was like maybe 12 o'clock or so and then we we're like okay where do we go now there's no more part where there's nothing and guys like oh it's okay we can just uh, figure it out and stuff and um 
Well, I was like, okay, so I guess you're lost, right? And he was like, ah. Uh, uh, I, and we I, were I'm not lost. I and can't we get were lost. Down and remember, no cellular phones. At yeah, the we didn't time. have cell phones no, in those days anyway. And we were like, where are they? Why aren't they coming? No, we're back? we're in bush. What we're in deep, deep, now? deep bush. But you know, me and all the runnings already, you know. So, me look on the place and I'm like, okay, see the ocean there. That's where we're <laughs> heading. Ocean that's going back down to. That makes it even easier for us. So. um I was like, all right, you have the machine, you go on there, so you start chop, and we'll, f we'll find our way down. Because I'm like, okay, we must buck up on a farmland or something. If we have farmland, you will find a road. But anyway, imagine, we're up four hours up the hill already. We don't know how far down the other side takes, but it that's is, the only way down. down. No, it, that, that's like 12, 1 o'clock, so it's oh, not dark oh, yet. Oh, oh, yeah, you were Because we were up on the top. Early morning, yeah. yeah. So anyway, we started going down the other side of the hill and um, Lulu's uncle started feeling pains in his groin. I don't know where that came from. I mean, we gave him a nickname after that anyway. We started calling him Blue Balls. But he had like extreme pain in his groins. So he was walking really, really slow. So what would have probably taken us maybe three hours to get down, you know, that's going to take us now six, seven hours. Anyway, we're there walking down, taking our little time, helping him out. His, his dad, that's uh, Lulu's uncle's dad. We're making it confusing here. <laughs> Ended up falling down and hitting his head and got a little gusher there. So, you know, we kind of patched that up and got that all under control again and started hiking down again. Five o'clock, started getting dark. Um, no road in sight. We're like, okay, you know, we can sleep in the bush. It's not that bad. I mean, we just make a little fire and relax and sleep. We'll be okay. No f did Blue balls and somebody time? with a gashing wound, uh, but we'll be okay. You know, we can just go sleeping. Uh, but do you huh? have anything to eat? Or? Well, we had a little water, and remember that on that side of the hill, they have like these vines that grow down. Mm -hmm. They have certain vines. You chop them, and they run water because okay, they they have they water inside of them. Were there fruit trees? No, no fruit something? trees or yeah. anything like that. But no food. We had water. Yeah, but no food. No, because it's so far up in the bushes. I don't even know if they but really have fruit trees have been up there. Hungry, eh? Well, we had a little bit of water with us anyway, and snacks. Not much. I yeah. mean, okay. We had a hearty breakfast, so we were good. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm used to stuff <laughs> like that. I go out all the time, so for me, bushes like home. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. She, she, she never knew where we lived. I mean, not where we lived, but where we were every day like oh. especially weekends I wouldn't see them until certain time on weekends had we leave in the morning after would... breakfast we're gone and we're we found waterfalls and rivers and all that stuff right in our hometown like pretty close too that nobody knew about so those were fun times but anyway we're up there in the bush um we said okay let's just keep on walking until you know it gets dark and we can't see anymore and then um Luckily, we ended up seeing one of those, you know, really um, rustic dirt roads, you know, something that was just dug out there so that somebody could come up to, I guess, farmland or something. It started getting a little flat, so there was like a little farming starting to go on there. Um, so we decided to just follow that road, even though it started to get really dark. Um, until we saw our first street light and that was kind of amazing because Woo! it was like yes civilization we see light <laughs> we see light so we ended up walking 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 until we got to that street light and then we got you know we saw the road and everything so we were finally on the road but we were still pretty far off the main so uh, yeah by that it was like about six o'clock or maybe yeah, six thirty it was definitely dark and um, ended up walking and then I kind of recognized where we were because it was up in an area um, close to Winifred 
um, a beach that we always used to go to and so you it, did reach far yeah wow we they reached far from more town and came out at Winifred uh, 15 miles but but we were pretty far still in because we used to drive from none such and go the mm -hmm. back way so that's why I recognized that road so I knew okay going that way um, going going north from here we'll definitely reach on the main main and um, Lulu's uncle's dad <laughs> They were staying at a hotel right on that main there too. That was the Dragon Bay at that time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they were yeah, staying yeah. there. Oh. So, um, and remember in those days they didn't have so many cars on the road either. So you couldn't just hail a robot taxi to stop and take you somewhere. So you still had to walk that bit. So we ended up doing that and um, we got him there. Remember that his wife is a doctor. Mm -hmm. So she kind of nursed him she, back. She, Everything was good. Um, so I did blue balls too. <laughs> blue balls, got home. Um, he, I think he slept it off or did something else, I don't know. <laughs> and the next day he was okay. <laughs> but um, that name stuck for a pretty long time. He's actually my best friend, so it's okay that I call him blue balls. Not you guys, but. I can call him that. <laughs> ah. So they finally made it home safe and, and when they came and told their story and we were like oh, and, oh, and my god and you know so uh, that was an adventure. It, it was an adventure. Yeah so I mean. And I, was... I went through the bush most of the bush I was bare feet too because that's how I like to walk in those places. Just, yeah, that, that's just me. Though. Although, uh, th those times, believe you me, I was walking barefoot the whole day for years. Remember, for in, years. Those, in the marina, in those days, I barely wear shoes. In I those days, I there. almost only had one pair of shoes anyway, so yeah. I didn't like, I didn't really wear those anywhere. Right, and, and me, I mean, I, wa I was like so used to walking barefoot as well. So. I mean, I Nowadays, I can't do it anymore. I used to play basketball bare feet <clears throat> on the asphalt. I used to come home with cuts on my toes and stuff like that always, constantly. But oh. that, that never stopped me from going back to play basketball again. <laughs> I mean, well, at least it didn't break your toe like, like Nicky, right? Yeah, that's him Nikki playing football. Nicky broke his toe uh -huh. because he was playing football. But that's at the beach. You, you, was, have, to, yeah. you have to play okay, football beach, beach for football. at the beach. So. Yeah, exactly. So, well, the, like I said, the building progressed pretty well. Uh, when... Something else happened again. Something else happened again. And that will be our next mom's story. I give you another cliffhanger again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not a cliffhanger. So, I hope you will tune in next time again too. To see what is going on after this, you know. And believe you me, it was not... This was the worst perfect. thing for us. Not at that point. Uh -huh. Yeah. So sad, sad, sad. Very. So guys, uh, that was it for today. Mm -hmm. Tonight, all the best, and next time. Get a short one, but it's spicy. Bye. 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 <laughs>